Ready for the big night under the lights. August 30th, mark your calendar, folks. The season opener for Coach Don Brown's powerhouse. And while they haven't even taken a real snap yet, so far, so good. The Minutemen, the odds-on preseason favorites to repeat as CAA champs. Now, if defense really does win championships, then Coach Brown can sleep well at night. But it's on the offensive side of the ball that the team is facing some question marks. UMass quarterback and preseason player of the year candidate Liam Cohen pulling all things together on the offensive side, along with first-time starting running back Tony Nelson. Now, the Minutemen are on the hunt for some go-to guys downfield. Try and catch Liam's long ball. Coach Don Brown says the Minutemen may look good on paper, but he's going to need some younger guys to step it up. Offensively, we've, we've got to develop some chemistry. Uh, we've got to get five offensive linemen working together, and some of those guys are adjusting to being moved around a little bit. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, at wide receiver, there's really not a lot of household names. So, you know, who's going to become the go-to guys? Last year, we were a little bit more veteran. Uh, on both sides of the ball, however, defensively, we we feel we have eight starters back on defense, um, and our secondary is pretty much intact. And, of course, your home for all things UMass right here. CBS3 Springfield, your official home for UMass Athletics and the Don Brown Coaches Show. You saw them right there. The show debuting Saturday morning, September 6th at 11.30 a.m., right here on CBS3 Springfield right here. Meanwhile, some breaking news tonight from the UMass basketball program. Check this out, folks. The school unveiling its new basketball logo for the upcoming hoop season. Pretty cool, huh? The logo, a celebration of the 100th year of UMass basketball, features the logos of hoop teams past. The school will also be holding a gala celebration to mark the milestone at the end of the season. Well, to golf now, thanks to yesterday's rain, third and fourth round today of the PGA Championship, Sergio Garcia and Patrick Harrington battling it out all the way to 18. We jump back to 16, though. Garcia sending his ball. Sploosh into